me tell you my story. And uh, this is the first time I'm going to say this on camera. So I did an interview with Lamar four years ago, and uh, I paid him for the interview, gave him an appearance fee, which I, which I do sometimes. And, you know, he came in, did the interview, the dope interview, told his whole life story. Mm -hmm. We had a nice rapport, everything else like that. Since then, we had two other interviews scheduled with him, and he canceled them, like, last minute. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, like, an hour or two before the interview, it got canceled. And I think uh, he was supposed to get some sort of appearance fee on those as well. So I think he, like, wanted to, like, up the fee last minute and weird, weird behavior, whatever else. So I was approached again this week to do an interview with him again to promote his show, this podcast. And I told my man, like, all right, look, I'll do it, but I'm not, I've already, he's already canceled on me twice. I'm not going to pay him an appearance fee. We're already thousands in the hole because of this guy. So if he wants to promote the show, I'll do it, but I'm not going to pay him. Like, no, no, he's going to do it. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Canceled on me again. <laughs> that sounds about. Canceled on me again. And then when I DM'd, I DM'd him and I was like, yo, this is the third time you canceled on me last minute. Do you have some sort of personal problem with me? A woman named Gina Rodriguez claiming to be his manager answers like, I'm his manager. Uh, the interview was never uh, scheduled. And, but since you have uh, this attitude, we're not interested in doing any more interviews with you. So then I talked to my man again and I'm like, I sent him the, the DMs and I'm like, yo. And then they're like, oh, yeah, we got a response from him. He said, oh, I got paid to do the first interview. Why would I do another one for free? And then when I responded to that, she was like, oh, stop crying. That's not true. And then she blocked me. So anyways, fuck this bitch, Gina Rodriguez. Fuck this dirty ass bitch. Gina I can imagine Robert. being an old woman who's relying on management fees from Lamar Odom at this point in her career. Mm -hmm. um, and listen, I don't know whether... Lamar is still on drugs, but this is definitely crackhead behavior that I'm seeing. No, you know, I, I, no, he's always been been like that. Uh, he's one of those, you know, like think about just just an NBA player, right? A Laker, right? They're moving in real time. They're what they say at twelve o'clock might not be the same at three o'clock. Might not be the same at four o'clock, right? So you have to be, it's one of those things where you're going to have to go to him and pull up and I'm here. And he's like, all right, cool. But, but he right? did an interview with me already. I, I was. We already have a rapport. He got paid for the interview. He knows that we do good business. I was his coach. And, <laughs> and, okay, so what'd you see? Getting like, him to practice and he's in town. Yeah, that's Get what I'm saying. Like, Yo, I will Lamar. never have Lamar Odom on my show again. Like, when, when she said, and we're not interested in nah, doing any more yeah. interviews, I'm like, fuck. I responded, I said, fuck those interviews. Like, nah, you got to pick. Like, like nah, he's like, yo, I'm, I'm good. I'm, yo, I'm coming. I'm picking your ass up. I'm going to drop. And it's, it's. But he's not that important. But it's just some people. He's not that important in order to pull, to make people jump through these types of hoops. It's just some people. It's just some people. He. He's, he's Maybe one he of the, thinks he's that important. No, he's it's not, not even important. I do actual superstar players. <laughs> no, it's the late. It's the personality. He just the personality is like the laid back, um, beach type of mentality, right? They're not. They 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 don't they don't have a schedule. You at don't all. think that drugs has any type of role they in this? No, nah, they just don't have a schedule. He's had he's, admitted serious drug problems. He's probably, he's probably okay, high. He probably he was probably sober when he yeah, uh, agreed to do agreed it. Agreed, it was high. Like I'm tired. <laughs> Fuck that! I'm tired. Yeah. I'm watching porn right now. Okay, <laughs> like no, that's why you can't take it. You I'm in the shower watching porn. I can't do this Vlad interview right now. No, you okay, can't. I'm in the middle of the scene. That's what I'm okay, saying. You, yeah, you can't take it. It's, it's not a personal thing. It's just you know, man. Listen, day to day, then, hour to hour, that mindset just changes. Listen, man. But the thing is, is that for a business, it's it's serious. Not only do we lose thousands of dollars, but we also lose a day of shooting, which we could have filled in with another slot. We also lose all the work that a group of people did to prepare for this interview, all the research I did. Like, it's a very disrespectful thing. So when you see this, Lamar, and you will, as well as your bitch-ass manager, Gina Rodriguez. <laughs> Gina Rodriguez. Gina Rodriguez. Both y'all can go fuck yourselves. Because honestly, you're wasting people's time and you're wasting people's money. And it's not, and it's not a good way to do business. Now, but, but just, just for the defense of someone like Lamar, 
he's never learned how to be a business or a businessman, mm. right? And NBA players are learning. Right? We we've used our talent as basketball players, right? So we yeah. know we're getting paid to show up at practice, which mentally half the time we're not there, right? <laughs> and then we mentally have to be ready for the game and the game only. You're not yeah. gonna, we're not gonna always be at both, right? For the most part, we're gonna be there at night for a check. Other than that, you can't rely on us for shit, right? You can't rely on us to go to the hospital and see the kids and they die. We, we barely wanna check our phones for what's the name. We're fucking, you can't count on us. Don't don't put us as your emergency for the most part, right? So we've never learned how to be business or businessman. We just learned how to be athletes. So when you're saying, all right, I'm done playing. Now I got to conduct this business. I don't know how important your time is, right? I never gave a fuck about someone's time then. he's lear- He needs to learn that now. He, he, how old is he now? Like 40 something? Yeah, but he's learning. But, but look, but look. What has he you done that's been say, important? Okay, but, but hold up, but hold up, hold up, hold up. I understand your argument in this, right? Now, if this was the first athlete I dealt with, I could be like, okay, I get you. I guess athletes are like this. But I've interviewed at least 100 professional athletes and 99% of them don't do this. Which one? I just did Michael Vick. <laughs> uh, John Sally's a regular on my show. Professional? Professional? <laughs> you right You. Have yeah. you ever just not but, shown up when we've had something scheduled? No. But but that's, but that's what I'm saying. I've learned you... You're way more accomplished. You made way more money than Lamar now, Odom. Okay, well, this is not a this is not a diss. The more accomplished you are, the more professional you become, right? What has he done Man, outside listen, of basketball? I, I, but, right? no, he's but, not a, but it goes, listen, I've interviewed Smush Parker. He didn't have a huge NBA career. I did Daryl Strawberry, who had a serious drug problem, a serious cocaine problem. But did you deal with him then? No, I'm dealing okay. with him now. Yeah, okay. So the, the, and he, he's what, been clean for a while. And but I, I'm just saying, man, I've literally done at least 100 professional athletes, and Lamar is the only one that's consistently pulled this dumb shit. And his 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 off-the-court success is the same way. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is that you, you, yeah, you almost died in a brothel. <laughs> no, man, no I'm, just, I'm just saying that most athletes, when they're done, the new generation is going to be fine. Right, they're they're learning how to be businessmen while they're playing, right? Right now, it's trying to when we're done, what do we want to do? All right, we have to be here, here, here at these times. Like my cousin's my assistant, and there's sometimes like yo, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this, and I'm sitting on the couch like, oh man, I don't want to do that shit, hmm. right? But for the most part, we have to learn how to be a business ourselves. You've been a businessman for a long time. Yeah, you've dealt with professionals a long time yeah. he's not a pro- he's still an amateur at the job you're doing okay right and right. that's 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 the thing because i've been in there so i'm understanding that other people's time yeah is important it's the most important, the important. thing that anybody could have not time at- is the most important aspect of anyone's life because you can never get it back not athletes. you can make more money <laughs> you can get another girl yeah. you can get another job you can buy another house the time that you've wasted, which I've wasted now on three occasions, <laughs> yeah. with Lamar Odom, that's his new name, Lamar Odom, because he's lame. I can't get back. See, the first what's so funny is the first structure he's gonna have is this podcast. Now, because I, I don't see this working, because I don't see him even showing up. But see, that's the thing. Yeah, this is the only thing that he's gonna have to be scheduled to do all the time. He's gonna be successful at it. Okay. Here's why. In the NBA, structure is what we know, something that demands us to be there exactly at the same time all the time, right? So now- Was he successful at the big three? No. (laughs) And did that have structure? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So- But something- But there you go. But he gets- I'm just saying. But he gets to go here for two hours and then just talk and and just- Is therapy? Okay. He might, he might, he might. I don't know. I don't know, Caitlin. Give him another- Listen, give him- I I remember at one point, Lamar- was photoed cuddling up with a transgender girl. So, you know what I mean? 2025, 2025, <laughs> go back to him. He'll probably be more professional. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have any plans to interview him again. I, I've wasted enough of my time and money at this point. <laughs>